In one of my previous Frema tutorials, I showed you how to build this e-commerce item card in Frema. In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement this card in a scalable e-commerce platform using the Power of Frema's CMS feature. Okay, let's go. Before I jump into the tutorial, there will be a remix link to this project in the description box below so you can use it to follow along with this tutorial or just see the final design of what I'll be doing in this video. So if you want to follow along, just come to the worksheet page and use whatever you see here. If you want to see the final design, you just come to the home screen. Alright, so to start the whole tutorial, we first need to set up our CMS. To do that, you come to the top section here, click on CMS. And then you see this in the layers panel, right? So you first need to create a collection for your CMS. To do that, you come to the top side here and you click on the plus. And I'm just going to name this, leave it as collection. You can name it as whatever you want. Okay. So now we need to create the fields for this CMS that we are going to be using in this item card. So the fields are basically what is going to be populated in this card, right? So the first thing we need to know is the, the title for this product, the price of the product, and a description. So let me go create those. So to create the fields, you come to edit fields here, click on it, and you see it has some default content. I'm just going to move this content stuff here, leave the title, and we'll need a price and we'll also need a description. Okay, so once you create them, you see them here, you see the description, the price, and the title. And so what else is left? Yeah, so we'll need a thumbnail too, and then we'll need these product variants. So let's go to the CMS edit the fields say we need an image for the thumbnail so i'm saying go to say thumbnail here and we need a bunch of images for the variants so i'm just going to say variants one variant two variant three great Okay, so that's essentially how to set up your CMS to receive the various data that will be populated in there. Okay, now so we can start populating it. So I'm going to copy the title here, go to my CMS, and if you need to create, start creating data for the collection, you just click on new item. You see the title, fill it, fill it out. Enter the price, say $50 description i'll copy that one later and we'll actually go copy let me save the changes so to save changes you just click on the save here and you're done i'll go back copy this description go to my cms paste it here okay so now we need an image for the thumbnail so i just pick it for my files And we also need a bunch of different images for the variants. Let me pick those as well. Okay, so now we have our images set up and that's basically 
all that we need to begin creating this. Okay, so we've created the fields for the CMS. We added some data. So now to display it on the page, we need to add it. So we come to this plus next to the pages, come to the CMS, go to the collection. This will be the name of your collection. And then I'll select index. All right. So index basically will basically be the card, will be a list of the cards that you have or the items that you have. Right. So it will give you this default, which is not very exciting. So we need to style it to how we want it. So let me come here, copy this and paste it here. All right. So this is what you are trying to style this into. Okay. So now to begin, I basically need to change the direction of the stack. So I change it from horizontal to vertical. Right, so let me check the size of this image. The size is, let me change it to fixed. 659, 606. So let me do same 659, 606. Wait, let me check the border radius, the corner radius, 24. So changes to 24. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for a thumbnail. We can now go down to the title text. I'm just going to basically copy the styling. So that's command option C for Mac. I think control alt C for Windows. Just copy. If you want to paste this command option V for Mac. I just do that, copy, paste, copy, paste. Right. Okay. So now we basically have the styling sets and we have the right dimensions sets for the thumbnail. For the thumbnail, I need to change. You see, this one shows the face, this doesn't. So I need to change the focal point. So to do that, just come here and say top center and that's pretty much it okay so now i need to move this 50 dollar to the right side here so it's essentially going to be the same approach like the last time make this into a stack change this um let this fits contents and that's pretty much it okay so we have the basic layouts. So now what we need to do is to basically add these product variants that we have, the images. So I'm just going to copy this, uh, paste them in here, bring them to the bottom, right? And then I need to connect these images to the fields that we set for the variance images. So I'm just going to say set variable, click on the plus next to the field, go to set variable and say this should be um, image one, change the focal points to top center. So then we do same for the second one. Click on this, say image two, change the focal points top center. Click on this, uh, say image three, change the focal points to top center. And that's pretty much it. I did not add an image for a uh, fourth one, so we did not have that there. But I think I can just add an image in a CMS. So we can just say variants four. And yeah, we should be good to go. Let me actually add a default image. Okay, so I've added a default image, so now it should be good to go. So let me connect this one as well to variant four. Change the focal point to top center. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it should be set on this one. So 
now i need to add this whole thing in a frame right let me switch to the layers panel whole thing in a frame so i'm going to say fit content here and this is already set to fit so yeah let's it fit now and i'm going to increase the pattern let me check the pattern here real quick yeah, it's 16 around, except the bottom. So I'm just going to say 16. Right, and then change the color to this. All right, great. So now we have everything we need. I'm just going to let this width fill the container. And yeah, let me reduce or change the but I'll reduce to 24, I think. And let this fill the space. Let us start. Let us fill. Yeah. And we are done. So now I basically need to add this, these stars. This, you can't really set them up in the CMS. So yeah, that's one thing there. So I add them here and add a stack. Let it fit. And let this also fit. Change the distribution to this. And let the start align it to the left. And let this whole thing fill the space. And then let this container be at the top. Great. So let me just add the decimals to this. And yeah, I think we are pretty much looking great on this. Let me just check the spacing real quick here. This is 24, so we can just do the same for this. Increase the spacing here to 24. And let me reduce the spacing it's up here to 24 as well. Great. Now I can just copy the button and the paste it in here. Let it fill the space. Fantastic. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We've designed a card for the CMS. So now what we can do is to basically copy this collection list let me let it fit the content so copy this collection list come to the home and basically paste it here and then remap these wires to it so I can just say remap to collection list remap to collection list you have to collect your list. Fantastic. So now what this would do is whenever we go into the CMS and we add more items. So I can just duplicate these items. Save. Duplicate. And save. You see it adds some more items. And then I can just change the direction to this. That's. See. So we basically have. A functioning e-commerce platform that will change based on the data entered in the CMS. Right, so to prove that you can just go back to the CMS and change a few details. So we can say um let me just change this to new balance. Let me update the thumbnail to Yeah, this red image here. Great. Now let me change this to Adidas. Let me update the thumbnail to Yeah, this shirt here. And then you see the changes. So now we preview 
you see the changes have reflected. The image I use here isn't very good, so apologies for that. But you see the changes have reflected. Right. So yeah, that's basically all you need to know. I mean, so you can see that the cards heights are not the same. Um, this is breaking into a second line, so you can fix that easily. Um, we see here the width is set to fix, so you can just change that to fill. And yeah, that should sort itself out. So yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know about FreeMS, CMS, the basics. They are more advanced stuff. Um, for example, like how to make something like this. So this is a platform called Junkyard. It's a resource hub for designers. And this is some advanced stuff in here. So basically how to set, for example, different images for each category um, in the CMS and yeah how to also like convert if it's an article how to use an, an icon for a category called article how to use a different icon for um a category like trying to find a video yes a category like a video so yeah let me know if you need me to go in depth into that one but yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for this tutorial. Catch you next time.